I noticed I've been petting her like this whole time I've been talking and I'm really weird. Hello everyone, in today's video I'm gonna show you how I style my real human hair wig. This video is the second part to my previous video where I show you how I wash my human hair wig and then today I'm going to show you how I get the curls that you see in most of my YouTube videos and on my Instagram posts. So after I wash her, I do let her air dry overnight just because I do want to eliminate the amount of heat I put on her in an effort to help keep her healthy and not look frizzy and frail and damage the hairs on her. This is what she looks like when she air dries overnight. The hair is naturally straight on her, just a little bit of frizz, but that is probably due to the amount of styling that I've done to it. Also, it's human hair. It's not going to stay perfect always. Before I get started on showing you how I style her, I just wanted to show you what I'm using. So I always have her fastened to a table like this and she's obviously on a styrofoam head and then she's also on this contraption right here that is basically fastened to the table so that way I can easily work with her and she's not going to fall off and this is flexible so I can move her around to style her from any angle that I want to. So it's very important to keep your wig on a styrofoam head or a fabric head, any sort of head really, uh, in order to ensure that the shape stays the same. So every time I'm not wearing her or just overnight, I will make sure she's on a styrofoam head so that I don't get any weird kinks or folds in her that I wouldn't want, obviously, when I wear her. Now, in order to make sure that she doesn't fall off or move around on me when I am styling her, I'm gonna use these little T-shaped pins hopefully the camera focuses, to pin onto her to make sure that she basically stays stuck onto this wig. So the only thing you really want to avoid is the lace front. You really don't want to pierce through the lace front because you will make a hole and rip it. So I'm just going to go all the way until her sideburns, which start right about here. I just feel for where the fabric starts and I'm going to stab her. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I use four of them. You can use as many as you'd like, but I would highly recommend fastening the wig to the head just to make sure that yeah, it doesn't slide off, fall off, or get damaged in any way. And then I'm gonna take the last two and put them basically onto the bottom here to fasten them there. Beautiful. So now that she's all fastened, I'm gonna give her a really good brushing. So for that, I'm gonna use a wet brush. And like I said, I do let her air dry overnight, but in order to help with the frizz, I do give her a light blow dry on a low heat setting just to help again with the frizz and the straightening. So how I work with her is she's a lot of hair for me. My natural hair was very thin, so I'm not used to working with this much hair and it may not look like it on this wig, but she's got like quite a bit of hair. So I always like to separate and use sections to make it easier for me to work with her. For blow drying, I like to use two sections. So I'm gonna do top and bottom, and then I'm just gonna fasten it with this clip. I have no idea what they're called, but these these clips. <laughs> that. Now with my blow dryer in a low heat setting, I'm just going to very quickly give her a nice blow dry to help her straighten out. So after she has completely dried from the blow drying, I will now straighten her. So yes, I know I curl her, but she is still a little bit frizzy and I really don't like it when the curls look frizzy because then I feel like I'm redoing them more often. So I'd rather use a little bit more heat, but then do the curls once, then only have to touch them up every few days or every few wears instead of doing them quickly first time and then redoing them every single day because in the end that does cause more damage. and. I'm kind of lazy. I don't like redoing my wig every single day. So like I said, I like to just touch her up every few days in between washes. And I find that that usually works really well. And the curls usually hold pretty nice. So I separate her in half just in the back here. And I tie off one section. Just makes it easier for me if you get it out of the way like that. And then for this half, I'm all again going to split it into half because this is still quite a bit of hair. Like this ponytail is how much my like natural hair was before I had it, which is crazy bad. So we're just going to split it in half and pin it with my clip again. So I'm just going to straighten this section and then I'm going to bring this section down and straighten it and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So an important thing with hair straighteners is you want to make sure that you don't use the highest heat setting just because that really damages the hair. Again, this is not hair that is alive anymore. So you really need to make sure that you care for her and you don't want to damage the hair on your wig because then it's going to look like it's damaged and you're not going to want to have to buy a new wig so soon. So I usually have it about three quarters of the way on the maximum heat. And I find that my wig really does work well with that heat setting. 
So I realized that being a wig wearer has now also made me into a hairstylist. I think that's probably one of the upsides of having to wear a wig. Alrighty, so this is what she looks like straightened. The reason that I don't really wear my wig with straight hair is as much as I would love to, it's way too poofy for me. And I think for me, a huge part of getting used to my wig was obviously feeling good and feeling comfortable in my wig. And I just felt like it looked really fake for me personally because I had really thin and flat hair beforehand. And then just having this very poofy wig that clearly, you know, was too much hair for my head really made me feel off and really made me hate the way it looked. So then when I started curling it, you know, curls are obviously more voluminous and bigger. So it makes sense that your hair is more poofy, which is why I curl it. And then I just really got used to the look and now I just love the curls. So I do occasionally wear my wig with straight hair, but I do really prefer it with curly hair. And I feel like it's much easier to maintain that way. So I do the curls. After I am done with the straightening, I'm gonna curl it. So I'll separate her the exact same way I separated her to straighten her, and I'll show you how I do my curls. So super easy for the curls. I just grab a section of hair, I finger comb it, just to make sure there are no kinks, and then I just wrap it around the wand, going towards the back of the head, and I'm just gonna hold it there for about 10 seconds and let go curls like this, I'm just gonna leave it and kind of let it cool down like that and then I'm not gonna brush it out until the very end. Once again, with your curling iron or wand, you want to obviously not have it on the highest setting, so I just have it on the second highest setting, which is 365 degrees Fahrenheit, and I think my straightener was about that as well. You can use a wand or a curling iron or even a straightener, I just don't know how to curl hair with the straightener. So again, just separating her right here, top to bottom, and then doing the curls. So I grab a section of hair, finger comb it, or brush it with my comb here. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around my curling iron or curling wand, going towards the back of the head like this. And then I like to keep my curling iron straight up like this. So the curl goes straight down. I'm gonna hold it there for about 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna let it go. And I'm not going to brush it out with my fingers just yet. I'm just gonna leave it and let it cool down like this. For the bottom section, I do like to take bigger pieces of hair. That way A, it's faster and B, it's at the bottom so you don't really see it as much. So I'll just take bigger sections of hair to make the job faster. Alrighty, so I'm all done curling her and this is what she looks like right now. I know the curls look really tight. And what I'm gonna do is just take my fingers or a wide tooth comb if you want to. But I take my fingers and I run my fingers down her and it kind of loosens the curls up and makes them look a little more natural. And then I'm always double checking the front pieces. Obviously you want the front to look nice. So I see kind of how they lay on her head and then if they look nice, then I will leave them. If not, I'm gonna fix it up a little. And there you have it. So that is how I achieve my little curls that I love so much on my wig. Also, one quick note is I always find that after each wash, your wig does get a little damaged. So occasionally I'll have like a few free hairs sticking up. So what I do is I just take some scissors and I cut really close to the root so they're not obviously sticking up in all kinds of weird directions. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Know yourself, know your body, and until next time.